Hey you, guess what I have? Finally, it has been quite a stressful, I think it's already on the third week. I'm not sure, need to figure out what day it is. <laughs> but anyways, I finally got my BoxyCharm for the month of May. Now, if you are new here, my name is Kyla and I wanna go ahead and welcome you. If you can, uh, right be well, by the time I'm done here or not, uh, if you have not finished through the video, but I would appreciate it because you will love these videos I do. I know I don't make as many as I should, <laughs> but I'm getting back to the real of everything. So back on my feet. <laughs> it's been quite some time since the whole COVID thing, you know, Things have been stressful, uh, depressing, all sorts of stuff, but you don't want to hear me keep going on about that. Anyways, if you can, please go ahead and like this video also if you want to, but like I said, you don't have to. Go ahead and subscribe. Once you do subscribe, if you can, go ahead, hit that bell that's down below this video. That way you do get notified of my next video. So going on to figure out what this box is about, because you're probably on my video and you're like, what, what kind of box is this? Or you already know what box this is and you want to see what I received. Or <laughs> you know and heard of this box, but you haven't gotten a chance to get to know the products because you're uncertain whether or not you're going to purchase it. All right. So let's get started. Anyways, BoxyCharm is $25 a month and you should receive beauty and skincare products. You get up to five full size products for, like I said, $25. And the value of your box should be well worth over $150. Like, whoa, that's why I chose this box. I mean, I didn't just choose it because of the price, but I chose this box because it's the best freaking subscription box I have ever ever subscribe to and you will like it now i can't remember the weight of this box so i will put the weight above here to let you all know how much my box weighed now you know a lot of you always ask about that i mean not on my channel but on, on other channels and i do get pet peeved because some people can't figure out what the weight is on their box but i'm letting you all know that things are changing a bit with boxycharm they're kind of configuring the fact that people are actually trying to figure out what they're getting. So they're kind of like tricking us a bit with the weight. So there's different varieties of a box at a certain weight. So now it's not one of those things where you can cheat your way into knowing what you got. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, that sucks, but you know, you get my point. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I'm so freaking excited. So excited. Okay. On the inside, it looks like this. <laughs> I like saying that. So you do get a pamphlet with the theme of the month that you get every month. And they come up with these beautiful, unique names of the theme. And the theme is called Flourish. And like I said, you do get five products, like five full-size products in your box. The variation I got is, I believe I've been told this just to say B-A. Um, I'm not sure, but they give you a ton. Like They give you a letter and different numbers, a dash, and a B-A. That's all I can actually say because every time I try to say the number, it's just too much. But, I mean, if you want to hear it, I mean, I don't mind if you want to wait here. Uh, the thing that I got is C21051122-B-A. A. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from that. So I like to go based upon what's on the pamphlet because I do tend to get lost in everything. So, oh, I forgot. I am always forgetting this. I think this is a part of my personality and how I am. I always forget to mention that you do every month get a chance to choose a product that you want to receive in your upcoming box. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Freaking hilarious. I'm like, I don't know why I did that. So the product I chose is the Murad, how do you say it? City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Now, Murad has always been my top favorite. I was introduced to Murad when I was a teenager. I had acne issues, mostly around my chin section growing up, and it was always bad. And now I've got like 
scar marks on my chin. But anyways, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the brand. Murad saved my skin, okay? Proactive was way too much peroxide. Or was it peroxide? Benzoyl per yeah, benzoyl peroxide. They had too much of it, and it gave me, it might burn my skin. So my mother ordered Murad, and Murad always was my favorite. It, like, saved my skin. I didn't have to worry about breakouts, all sorts of stuff. That's what I'm trying to say is basically they started out as an acne, um, I think it was, yeah, an acne brand as far as I know. I mean, I was just a teenager at the time and I didn't do a whole lot of shopping online due to the fact we didn't have as much access as everybody does now. So, um, this is the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Detoxify and revitalize skin overnight, a daily dose of pollution and blue light from electronic devices can accelerate visible signs of aging. This breakthrough formula contains supercharged antioxidants that neutralize pollutants and strengthen skin's barrier, barrier while you sleep. The retail value of this product is $74. Whoa, 74 freaking dollars. That's expensive. Um, before... You know, when I used to get these boxes and still get these boxes, when I pick a product now that we're able to, I try to pick something that I can't afford to get or look up where I can't afford to get it. And that is why I chose this because I have seen others selling this product for a lot cheaper. So, I mean, if I fall in love with this, knowing that it's from the brand Murad, I, I know and I will definitely be purchasing this where I can't afford it. But, I mean, if it comes to where I can't afford it, it's going to make me sad. Because this is what scares me, is if I get a product, like I said, I choose a product hoping that I can afford it. And if I fall in love with this product and I can't afford it, it just makes me feel so bummed out. So, that's why I get nervous. Like, I just don't want to use a certain product because I'm afraid I'm going to fall in love with it and not be able to afford it again. So, I just wasted product, basically. I don't like wasting product. But knowing that this is $74 and I can actually purchase this on Facebook groups for a lot better discounts or a lot better, or let me say a lot better, that didn't make sense, for a lot cheaper, may I say, on there, or I just go to Poshmark. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and open this box right up. Oh, and I do know why it's a little bit expensive. It's because also the packaging. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. Here's what that looks like. Bam! Look at that. Yeah, buddy. I'm so excited. Yeah, um, a long time ago, when I was 26, I ran across an esthetician that actually had a container like this. And I was just like, how how come no products have something like this? Because this this is actually helpful because it keeps air from going in and it also keeps you from touching your product. Like bacteria from your skin can get into your product and make it go bad. Like the germs, the, you know, in case you like had something that was infectious. How do you say it? Is that how you say it? Like basically any kind of bacteria that you get in there will make the product go bad. And I hated doing that with any of my products. I hated putting my fingers in there. And she was like, she told me that then you'd have to especially order them. And uh, unless you wanted to purchase a product that she was selling, which was like 80 something dollars back then. And it came with this airtight um, packaging, but I couldn't afford that. And I have been searching, well, at that time during my age, I was searching for containers like this and I could never really find it. Because of the fact that these containers are amazing. Amazing. So I'm going to stop rambling on. And show you. Look at that. That. You just push it down and the product comes up. So it's pushing the product in and up. So that way when you go to swipe it. And you use it. You can actually sanitize the top. Put this back on. And you're good to go. You don't have to worry about your product oxidizing you don't have to worry about your product going bad you don't have to worry about putting bacteria into it so we're good all right next product in here uh, i like to go off the list so let me get the list real quick 
The second product in here is the Cab Cosmetics Day Plus Night Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this was quite exciting. I have not opened this quite yet because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and I'm getting nervous because I don't want to touch it in case I decide to give it away. And that's what that looks like. Bam! Right in your face. Yeah, I have actually been kind of avoiding the fact of looking at the unboxings <laughs> because I want to be excited. So, <gasps> oh my gosh. Actually, I'm going to keep this palette. <laughs> this is exciting. It's got my favorite colors in here. So, I'm trying to be able to show you all what's what this is. Alright, so that way I don't blind you. Here we go. Look at those colors. Like, oh my goodness. These are beautiful. I mean, what? I'm going to try a couple of the shades. And then one matte shade. It's not too creamy. I... I mean, don't get me wrong, I love creamy eyeshadows. That matte shade that I just swatched. What? It's as if it's, you know how matte shades are? They're like a dry eyeshadow or something like that. Or anything, you know. And it's supposed to be dry. But when I put it into the skin, look at that. It like... It's not patchy. It's not powdery. It just went in there and it didn't crease. What? That is so cool. Now, on the other hand, <laughs> when it comes to the shimmer shades, I think we're going to have to pack the shimmer shades on. But bravo on the matte shade. My goodness. But yeah, the shimmer shades aren't that pigmented which maybe I have to try it a certain other way I mean now that I keep putting my finger on the shades it's starting to feel more creamy okay you can layer them on top of each other but I'm thinking that's going to be a lot of layering but oh my gosh this is exciting I like this palette I do. I like it. I know I have a lot of palettes. And I was thinking of considering of giving this away. But I'm sorry guys. I like this palette. I do. Alright. So it says here that this palette has a new formula and new sustainable packaging. With 18 highly pigmented shades to create looks from or for both day and night. All in one product. Use the softer lighter shades to create your favorite daytime looks and play around with their bolder darker shades for a more intense nighttime look whoa the retail value for that eyeshadow palette this one right here oh my gosh um 52 dollars so yeah um i can see why oh that is quite expensive but eyeshadow palettes last for ever with me because I don't really use I don't wear makeup every single day but when I do I use a ton of different eyeshadows <laughs> so I'm going back and forth but I do make sure that if they are expired I tend to like sanitize them like I like scrape the top layers off and spray it down with alcohol all that kind of stuff I know that I need to toss it but it, hey I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on eyeshadow palettes when I have a ton of them now, if they're like two years old, then I toss them out. I toss them like in the scissor trash. All right. Third product. We're getting to it. This is the Skin Incorporated or Skin Incorporate. Let's just say Skin Ink. Okay. That's basically what it is and what it's called. Skin Ink. My Daily Dose of Uplift. The Skin Reviving. Right here. Serum with Encapsulated Collagen. Coenzyme Q10 and hyaluronic acid delivers an anti-aging power punch, giving you smoother, firmer, and younger looking skin. The retail value of this is $65. 
$65. Man. And I did receive this, I believe, in my Alert Beauty box. And I didn't use it constantly or all the time because um, when I put it on my skin, it does feel good. But as soon as it's, it's like my skin sucks it up, like, like all of a sudden it sucks it up, like really fast. So I'm not sure if this is the same one that I have. Um, let's see. But I will check. If it's not, I'm definitely going to be using this for sure. Because I like the fact that they have the encapsulated uh, capsules in here. Because that way I know that the product isn't actually going to go bad. I just wish it was in a, a pump. A pump would be way better to have. But yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. See that? I know, I know. Take it out of the package. There we go. But look at those pretty colors. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. I love it. I mean, the other one that I have, I'm not sure if this is the same one, but if it is, I'll get, keep using it. I mean, I do love encapsulated capsules in here or in any kind of product they have. But again, I wish it was in a, a pump. All right, so moving on to the third product. The third product, product, the third product I got. Oh my, okay. This is one of my favorites, favorite brands, and it's the Trusty Refillable Brow Pencil Plus Gel. This super, where's it at? This, is it upside down? Okay, no. This super sleek two-in-one brow pencil is 100% refillable. Keep your forever case and refill your brow pencil and gel to your heart's content which I have not received one of these before and if I can refill it that would be perfect that's awesome it's a lot less waste okay I lost myself or lost my uh, area where I was reading it says from the materials to the packaging everything was developed through a lens of sustainability better for you and the planet true the brow pencil features a triangular shape tip to define brows while the flexible tinted gel on the other side grooms and sets its grooms and sets. It's everything you need for natural looking, perfectly sculpted brows. The price of this is $26. So if you can get a refill refillable one to put inside this, or a refill may I say, it should be cheaper, I believe. Hopefully. Because if I love this, like I said, it has to be affordable. <laughs> well, it's got their original packaging, so here we go. Yeah, that looks about to be right about my shade for my eye, my eyebrows. Um, let's see. Oh, I like that stroke, girl. Mm-hmm. I like that stroke. It's right here. Again, I was just showing you. Oh, okay. It's a screw off. So you screw it. The other ones I have, you just pull it apart. It's got like a sharpener or something in it. What? I was thinking it was going to be like a gel form kind of applicator or something. I didn't think it was going to be that. Sweet. Heck yeah. That makes me excited. Well, let me go ahead and put this one up, and then we'll get to the last product in here. The last product in here is the Sophia Plus Maybell, Maybell? yeah, Sophia Plus Maybell Hydrating Hybrid. Okay. Now, this here that I have is actually going to be a gift to one of my nieces, and she doesn't watch this. I don't know if she does watch my YouTube videos, but I'm trying not to say her name. <laughs> Because this is because I'm going to be sending it to her. So, anyways, uh, this hydrating hybrid is a lipstick and lip balm in one. It's packed with vitamin E to keep those lips silky smooth, but with the full coverage of a satin finished lipstick. Bring the baby or bring this baby with you anywhere you go and apply when you are in need of a little extra moisture with a subtle pop of color. 
This retails for $15. Now, I did open the packaging to take a look, and she's going to freak. Like, she's going to love this. She's going to be like, Aunt Kyla, you're so awesome. And I'm going to be like, heck yeah. Well, she calls me Kai Kai, so. Because that's my nickname for my nieces and nephews. I figured I'd let y'all know that. She'd be like, Aunt Kai Kai, you're so awesome. Right? Okay, so I'm trying not to turn this apart. But look at that shade. Like, that's going to be her shade. Wow. Yeah, I had to, like, text her mom and be like, uh, what kind of makeup could she wear? And then, because she's at an age that she can wear makeup. But I was just like, what types of makeup can she wear? <laughs> just to be on the safe side, because I didn't want to get in trouble. So, anyways, that was actually all that was in my box for the month of May. I want to go ahead and say yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching me unbox this box by BoxyCharm. I can't wait to see y'all next time, so take care and stay safe. Love you. Bye.